Hey guys, it's Medicosis Perfect Natus, where medicine makes perfect sense. Let's continue our playlist called Labs. In previous videos, we talked about the beta-2 microglobulin. We talked about Ben's Jones proteins in the urine, which are significant in cases of multiple myeloma. We talked about the urine electrophoresis, urine uric acid, urine potassium, urine chloride, urinalysis, you name it. Today, let's dig deeper. Let's talk about the TAM horseful protein also known as uromodulin. Why does it end in IN? Because it's a protein. Why uro? Because you find it in the urine. Why module? Because it modulates. It's a modulating protein found in the urine. Please watch the videos in this lab's playlist in order, especially my video on urine proteins and the other one on urine casts. We've said before that a normal kidney is like a beautiful colander, letting no proteins and no blood into the urine. A kidney with nephrotic syndrome will lead to tons of protein in the urine. A kidney with nephritic syndrome will lead to blood in the urine. Because itis means inflammation. The kidney is inflamed and shedding tears of blood. Normal kidneys do not let protein into the urine. Why not? For many reasons. Numero uno, this basement membrane is negatively charged and the proteins are negatively charged, so they repel each other. That's why the proteins in the blood will not end up in the urine. Reason number two, the fenestrations, i.e. the holes in the basement membrane are so tiny and most proteins are big. So under normal circumstances, there is almost no protein in the urine. Notice I said almost no protein. So can I find some protein normally? Yes, a very low quantity of proteins, including the famous TAM horseful protein. Plasma proteins are made of what? Albumin or globulin. And if you've watched my video on the urine casts, they are divided into hyaline casts and cellular casts. The hyaline casts are what? Proteinaceous. They are made of proteins. Mainly whom? The TAM horseful protein. The uromodulin? Exactly. So what are the conditions that will make me see hyaline casts in the urine? Well, some of them are physiological, others are pathological. If I stand for a long time, I get orthostatic proteinuria. You'll see some protein in the urine and maybe Maybe some hyaline cast. Strenuous exercise, lots of stress, all of this can lead to hyaline cast in the urine. The pathological disease include proteinuria, that's a bad kidney, chronic kidney disease, that's a bad kidney letting too much protein into the urine. So what is this TAM horseful protein or uromodulin which is responsible for many hyaline casts? Well, let's dig deeper. Why IN? Because it's a protein. What kind of protein? Glycoprotein. What does that mean? It means it's made of protein and carbohydrate. Sugar plus protein. Okay. Any protein is coded for by a gene. What's the name of the gene that codes for this protein? Well, since this is called uromodulin, we call it U-mod gene. Uromodulin. And you'll find this gene on your chromosome number 16. Why uro? Because you find it in the urine. In fact, you can argue that this is the most prevalent protein in the urine. It makes hyaline casts and it is secreted by the kidney tubules, mostly around the loop of Henle at the luminal border. So just because I saw TAM horseful in the urine doesn't necessarily mean that my kidney is bad because who made TAM horseful? The tubules themselves. So do not blame my basement membrane. Do not say that the negative charge have been destroyed. Do not say that the fenestrations are wide open. I could have the perfect kidney and still there is some TAM horseful protein in the urine because it was made after the filtration. It was made here by the kidney tubule cells. All of this was the structure. Let's talk about the function. Well, as you will read in any sophisticated textbook quote, the exact function of uromodulin is not yet fully understood. However, there are some hypotheses. Uromodulin may modulate, in this case it means inhibit, calcium crystallization. No crystals equals less risk of stones because it's the crystals that crystallizes and increases the risk of precipitation of a stone. Moreover, uromodulin might trap the pili or fimbriae of E. coli, the most common cause of urinary tract infection, and when you trap that bacteria, what's gonna happen? 
you're preventing urinary tract infections because you're destroying one of the virulence factors of E. coli, which is the pillus. It's a damn good protein. If you want to learn more about kidney function, download my renal physiology course at medicosisperfectionalis.com. It will teach you about glomerular filtration rate, renal plasma flow, the afferent arterial, the efferent arterial, the proximal tubule, the loop of Henle, the distal tubule, titratable acidity, and much more. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit the bell, and click on the join button. You can support me here or here. Go to my website to download my courses. Be safe, stay happy. Happy study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis, where medicine makes perfect sense.